let's see what is cross ladder theorem and its proof so cross ladder theorem it states that if there is an alleyway is there and each side of the alleyway we have got two buildings are there so ab is one of the building and cd is the another building now incline to them from the base of one building on the other building these are the two ladders are there which are inclined we have to prove that if the ladders are crossing if the ladders are touching the building at height of h1 and h2 then they will cross each other at a height of h and this value of h can be given by can be calculated by this formula 1 upon h is 1 by h1 plus 1 by h2 and that's cross ladder theorem let's see the proof of it so before we move ahead we know that the buildings are making an angle of 90 degree with the alleyways so this is 90 degree angle this is 90 degree angle and the height which we are calculating that's also at 90 degrees if we look at this bigger triangle that's the yellow triangle and along with it if we look at the smaller triangle that's a green triangle now these two triangles these are right angle triangle and this particular angle is common between them so we can say here that triangle abd so triangle abd that's similar to triangle efd by angle angle similarity so if we'll compare now triangles are similar ratio of sides will be equal so i'm comparing the sides here i'm taking bd upon fd so we are getting here bd upon fd bd upon fd this is nothing but it's equals to ab upon ef so this is equals to ab upon ef but value of ab ab is nothing but h1 so ab is your h1 and ef ef is h so this will be h1 upon h now this is your observation number one same way let's first erase these triangles if we look at the other bigger triangle that's your triangle bdc and triangle bfe so in these two triangles this angle is common and both the triangles are 90 degrees so both the triangles are similar so here we are talking about triangle bdc bdc that's similar to triangle bfe bfe so again we'll take ratio of sides so we are taking bd upon bf so we'll say bd upon bf that's equals to and we'll take here cd upon ef so this is cd upon ef but again if we have a look then cd is nothing but h2 and ef is your h so this is equal to h2 upon h and this is your observation number two if we'll add our observations add one and two so on lhs we are adding your bdf upon ft and bd upon bf so this is your bd upon fd plus bd upon bf this is equals to h1 upon h plus h2 upon h if both the sides will uh, take the values in reciprocal instead of bd upon fd if i'll take fd upon bd then same thing i can write it down as this is fd upon bd which is nothing but h upon h1 plus bf upon bd which is nothing but h upon h2 now your lhs if we'll add this lhs we'll get bd is common in denominator so fd plus bf upon bd this is here h will come common and we are getting one upon h1 plus one upon h2 now if we look carefully 
then FD, this length is FD, and BF, this length is BF. So FD plus BF, that's nothing but full length BD. And BD upon BD is 1. So here we can say that this numerator here will be our BD upon BD. This is H upon 1 upon H1 plus 1 by H2. H will take on the other side and we'll get 1 upon H is 1 upon H1 plus 1 upon H2. And that's our result for cross ladder theorem. So again, in cross ladder theorem, if we are not given much data, only the height at which the ladders are touching the building that's given, then using that data, we can find the height at which the ladders will cross each other. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I'll see you in next video. Till then, Tata. Bye-bye.